sunrise at the beach. It's hard to beat this. It really doesn't matter if I don't see a single bird. It's such a great way to start the day. I'm here for these guys. The long tails in the surf. They didn't cooperate as much as I had hoped they would on this outing. It's a challenge trying to find these birds in the surf. You know, the waves block them like that, and then they disappear, and then the wave kind of eventually moves through, and you get to play where's the bird. Look, still waiting, and it's gone. Oh wait, there it is. Thankfully, in between, when there were no ducks around, the shorebirds kept me busy. Watching those little sanderlings is the best. I think I see a duck out there. Nope. Oh wait, there it is. Got it. No big waves right now except for this one in the way. And then let's see if it's still there. And it dove. That's the challenge of photographing long tails in the surf. But it won't stop me from trying. Even trying to get them in focus is difficult. And then just like that, you'll get them in focus and they dive. So then it's time to just take my eye out of the viewfinder, scan, see what else I can find. Or just spend some time with these sanderlings. They're so much fun. Watching them run back and forth with the surf like this. I see another duck out there maybe. Let's see. Nope, just a gull. That's okay, I'll still take a photograph of this gull if it rides the waves just right, but it doesn't happen. The sun would be shining right now if it wasn't for that cloud bank, but it won't be long. At this point there's no ducks, the shorebirds have moved on, so I might as well watch and photograph the waves. We'll speed things up a little bit. Let's get to some sun. There it comes, just starting to peek out over those clouds, look at that. And then the glorious light starts. What a great time of the day. It's just so cool laying on the beach like that by myself. Watching these ducks out in the incredible surf like that. Watching the shorebirds along the surf. Just feeling that sun on your face for the first thing in the morning. It really is hard to beat. This is where I want a long tail duck. Riding one of those waves. It just hasn't happened yet. In the meantime, I'll spend more time photographing these shorebirds. Now that I have some sun to play with, I have a lot more opportunities for some interesting photos with these birds. And it's neat, there's actually a mix of two species. You can see that one right there is a Dunlin, the long down curved bill. There's another Dunlin right there, and there we go. First shot of the day. That worked out well. And there's also sanderlings out there. The sanderlings are doing a lot more of the running. It's funny, the Dunlins seem to always fly from the waves. The Sanderlings just seem to outrun it. 
it's neat to watch the different behavior. But man, oh man, is that light good right now. I love trying to get these flight shots. I was anticipating the waves coming up and I knew they would push these Dunlin into the air because they weren't running like the Sanderlings. And so it gave me a few opportunities to try and get some of those flight shots. So I'm running negative exposure compensation just to keep things dark and moody. And especially if they go into that sun, I want to be able to get some exposure there. And there we go. Look at that glow in the wings. The negative exposure compensation worked perfectly there. This one's got some great light too right now. Just beautiful rim light. But he was looking away the whole time, so I didn't get the shot. And now the sand. The sand is just glowing, glittering. Look at that. Sunrise is so great. Here we go, another takeoff. Now they're a little too close to keep up with. I had the teleconverter in to try and photograph the long tails that were way out in the surf. So when these guys came in close, it was a bit more difficult. But I still managed to get some shots here and there. Every once in a while, one of these Dunlin would pause like this and just sit and wait. And sometimes they would turn just the right way so I could get a shot. There we go. Look at the glow on the wings. I love the curve. And then they head right back into the sun. They were generally working this one area, so I was able to just stay there and let them keep coming into the really good light. I didn't have to move at all. And then it would run right at me. And two people almost walked over top of me. They had no idea I was laying there until they almost stood on top of me. And then times like this, the Sanderlings just came in too close. There was no way I could even focus on this. With the bird only about five, six feet away. Absolutely love the light and the bubbles there. This one worked out quite nicely. And then the Sanderling runs out into the spotlight of sun. And this could have been a great shot but I didn't underexpose it enough. I would have had to increase my aperture to get the detail there, so it's not exactly what I would have wanted. The bubbles on this one were just right. I love the bubbles behind it too. Shorebirds are such a fun species to spend time with. It's so calming to me. You just kind of lay there and relax and let them come to you in most circumstances. And on a cold winter day like this, just laying there, having them all around you is so special. And this was really interesting. I had never seen this before, Sanderling feeding on a larger dead fish. And so I knew he was gonna stay there with the fish, so I started just slowly sliding in, just on my stomach sliding the ground pod forward and then crawling in behind it staying nice and low taking my time and i was able to continue to get closer and i was also trying to shift to the right just a little bit so i could get the sun a little bit more behind the bird and the fish 
And there you can see I'm getting some amazing rim light. And then it was just a matter of waiting for an interesting position. And then sliding in a little more. I knew if the fish stayed there, I would have been able to close right in on this bird and get point blank range, probably frame filling. And now the light is getting really good. That glitter back there is just incredible when the waves come in just right. Look at that, just sparkling like crazy. But then unfortunately his fish got washed away and I had to settle for a shot of the bubbles. And then that was it. He did find it again a little bit later and it wasn't long before the water came back and took it away one more time. And then I think shortly after that the sanderling just flew away. So then it was back to the surf to see if I could find any more ducks. And I think these are some scoters flying by. Just a small flock of them cruising offshore. Always neat to see. So that was it. It was about an hour after sunrise. The light was getting pretty rough. I did a few videos of just a few of these long tails out in the surf. It's amazing they survive out there and do well. And it's so fun to watch them ride. And I didn't get the photos I really wanted, but that was okay. I wanted to share these photos. This was from a previous outing of about a week prior. And I got some shots on that day, but still not my vision. So I still have some work to do and it won't be long before I'm back at the shore watching another sunrise and having a blast with the long tailed ducks and the shorebirds.